This is one of these quick stories that I'm going to do every once in a while, just because why not? Because it humors me. These are humor joke kind of things. This is my attempt at humor joke. It's this is about the best you get, folks. UK Foreign Secretary Dominic Robb's bodyguard left gun on plane after U.S. visit. Britain's Foreign Secretary Dominic Raub left Downing Street in April 2020. Uh, all right, that's what he looks like. This is the gentleman. The gentleman in question. Foreign Secretary Dominic Robb's bodyguard. Bardegard. Bardegard. You know, I really love the what this uh, my backdrop does to some of these guys. This guy? Any politician should probably go through this. This screen right there so you get that look on that effectiveness. Yep. It's like in that movie. What was that movie with uh, Rowdy Roddy Piper? They put the glass. You know, it's, it's tiring, but it's still wonderful. It's a wonderful movie. You should check it out. I can't even remember. It was called They, then that was They. It's great. A police officer traveling as part of British Foreign Secretary uh, Dominic Robb's protection detail has been suspended after they reportedly left a gun on a plane. Suspended. Leaving a gun on a plane. Suspended. Listen. Uh, removed from that type of hazard duty. You are no longer trusted with guns. You are now done as far as deal. And not, 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 I mean, you can have guns at home. But you can't be a professional officer person in charge of guns because guns means that you can decide some sort of life or death. No, 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 not guns in the name of the state for you anymore. You're done. See, that's the way it is. That's it. I'm sorry. I don't want to end your career, but I'm going to have to readjust it. And that means maybe you train people. You're training now. You're, you're in training. You're not out in the field anymore or something, but you're done. <laughs> the officer accompanied Rob on a visit to the United States and left his weapon in a plane. On their return to London's Heathrow Airport on Friday, Britain's PA Media News Agency reported. When asked about the report, London's Metropolitan Police said it was aware of the incident on a flight into the UK on Friday, 18 September. That's exactly how he said it. We are taking this matter extremely seriously, a spokeswoman, a spokesperson, <laughs> I assumed woman, for the police said in a statement on Saturday, the officer involved has since been removed from operational duties whilst an internal investigation into the circumstances has taken place. I marched the money python. Sorry about that. That was annoying. I won't do it again. I will. I won't. I will. When in the United States, while in the United States, Rob met officials, including Secretary of State Mike Pompeo. Earlier this year, David... Oh, no. Oh, no. That's what... That's why this happened. He met with Mike Pompeo. That's why he forgot his gun. No, he left his gun. He left his gun for right-wing radicals so that they can overthrow the British government and replace it with a giant black-faced Pez container. A black-faced Pez container of Barack Obama to boot. I don't know how they did it, but they did it. Scientifically, I didn't think it was possible. Blackface to bomb but they did it. Something like that. I'm just kidding, folks. These are just jokes. Nobody wants to harm you. Earlier this year, David Cameron's police bodyguard was placed under investigation. Alleged jokes. Uh, after reports emerged that he left a loaded handgun and the former British Prime Minister's passport in the toilet. In the toilet on a commercial flight. You know... I'm just gonna just gonna say this I walk in I'm just okay I'm writing a book I'm writing a novel it's a novel I made up this character I'm gonna tell you a theory that happened you now this is what he said I'm not saying that I would say this because this is just a fictional character okay fictional character saying this I walk into a British bath no, you know what I walk into a British bathroom and I know that I can't have guns, and you know I live in a gunless society. And uh, I walk into a British bathroom, and whether I'm a British citizen or an American, I don't care, whatever freaking person I am. And I find myself a big old shiny gun, and I know that it's a government gun. And I know that they can't trace it. 
my fictional character took the gun and just uh, while he was in England, he just had the gun on him. And then uh, when it was time to leave, he just kind of ran on over to the Thames and just kind of tossed it and just went on his merry way. But he had a gun with him while he was there, just in case. Protection, just in case, just in case. Better to live and face the law than to die and be considered just. Yeah. So, <laughs> the person who found that gun. Oh my gosh, how they have conditioned you. How they have conditioned you, my friend. Oh my. I mean, don't get me wrong. If you found a gun and you didn't know for sure. That, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not kitchen. I would never do anything like this because I'm a decent law-abiding citizen. But my character, character's character, really, uh, would, would definitely uh, not, and, and be looking askant at someone who decided to uh, call the police and say, hey man, I found this gun in there and I don't know what it is. It's a, it's a beautiful 1911. Let's see what's kind of, uh, let's see. Let's see. We're taking uh, London's Metropolitan Police said it was aware of the, oh, a police officer. Okay, so let's say, all right, let's go with, uh, let me see here. London Police, maybe? London Police. Uh, service. Pistol. All right. Let's see. Glock 17. So that's most likely what we're talking about. That's it, the Glock 17. Get a little perspective here and uh, Glock 17. Give you a little bit of a, a love for the game. Glock 17. Where are we at? Come on, just give me the Glock 17. Now, I am believing. I'm a little confused. I get my Glock numbers c confused, but I believe that that's 9mm. And I just want to make sure that I'm not wrong. So I'm looking for... Where we have, uh, you don't have, uh, Britain, or do you list it as Great Britain? You list it as England? Okay, so let's, uh, get on down. I don't, uh, let's see. Let's do Glock 17. I mean, I, I feel stupid if it's not 9mm. I could be. I get things confused easily now in my old age. I believe... Okay, I'm right. Okay, good. I'm right. Shoosh. So it's a 9mm, a 9mm, not a, not a man staff around, like a 40 or a 10, or definitely a 45 ACP, but a lot less, a lot cheaper, a lot more compact, a lot easier for uh, people who don't know how to shoot to fire than 40s and 10s and 45s in general, but... Uh, there you go, Glock 17. I find that Glock 17, and I know that it's a uh, it's a government guy gun. That uh, you see, that it's not that I'm. It's not about being anti-government. It's about knowing that the government guy can't, but, like, doesn't really. It's not in their interest to even report that it's missing. And be like, oh man, man, yeah. I don't know. I think I might take the Glock 17. And no, actually, I would only take the Glock 17 if I was there temporarily. If I was a British citizen, I would not, I would, you know what? I would report it because that is one ugly gun. I hate Glocks. I'm not saying if you like Glocks, no offense, but I just can't stand them. I would like to punch them in the face metaphorically. They're the peepers pistol. You know, you know what I say? I say that we go to, uh, what is that? The, uh, The 762 by 25. We should go with the, uh, was it the Tokarov? It's Tokarov. Tokarov. That's what we need. We, that, this is. Okay, then it's a Tokarov. 
Okay, so let's go. Uh, let's uh, let's go look at the old Tokarov here. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Tokarov there. Seven six two by two five Tokarov. That's what we need right there. You get me a bunch of these things. This is what I need. You get that seven six two by two five. That is a zippity zip zip zippity doo dah round. That is a get up and go round. Highly accurate. Highly penetrating and will knock you on your butt. It is small com it is everything it is what you should use it is it is definitely the way to go and don't get no nine mil man don't get no my nine mil this is stupid get to get that seven six two by two five seven six two by two five seven six two by two five toko rob so yeah if i was in a commie country i would probably take all the guns and keep them but in this country of uh, uk with their glock 17 i probably would have called the cops because i mean i don't i'm not necessarily if i'm not going to take the gun i'm not going to leave the gun i'm a responsible citizen so i would call so i don't blame you for calling unless again if i was a tourist that gun's going not me my fictional me of course because i'm decent that gun's going in my pocket i'm just like uh -uh, i'm just walking around with this like yeah 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 i'm just doing that yeah so there you go that's my take this is one of these uh, stories that uh, I don't really care. I don't really care. It is what it is. You're going to have these things happen sometime. But uh, scandal and pain and heartache and woe. Now, the guy that did this most assuredly should get more than a suspension, I think. I don't trust this person fundamentally. Those aren't the kind of mistakes that you let somebody come back from any time in your future. Go through five years. Five years. Five years. And then after five years, then reintroduce them see how well they do but uh, they got to go away for a while as far as uh, actively serving in any kind of capacity in which uh, fundamentally you have lives on the line that could be directly connected to a very very powerful member of the government that you serve you just mm -mm. your trust is gone sorry you gotta step aside uh, don't don't get fired just change your change your you're not gonna be in active duty for the next five years until you uh Work your way back. Work your way back. And there you go. That's my take. And for this uh, story, there's only one link. I only covered one story. It was a simple story on this one. Have fun with it.